already about is that uh, how are you managing to get these students placed? Because uh, yes, uh, I'll be honest that you are also a young startup, correct? And uh, uh, what we also saw some placement stats also pull up. Meanwhile, the placement uh, report that Acure Job had published about their placement things. So can you give us an overview? Because people are also uh, afraid of this fact that to understand how many of the batch percentage got placed, Absolutely. how many got placed uh, somewhere. I mean, what kind of a tier one colleges background tha, tier two tha, ya kya placements the, kis tarah ki cheeze thi. Thoda aap overview dijiye. I'll also try bilkul, to pull bilkul. up the placement report so bilkul. that people can understand this uh, placement thing because outcome pe logon ka focus hai, lekin ab wo unko clarity nahi milti. Agar aap kuch share kar sakte ho. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So uh, how do we execute this? One, we have a dedicated placement team here, uh, and they ag- aggressively keep reaching out to companies who are hiring. Uh, for freshers relevant roles right they we try and partner with them we uh, fortunately the convincing them has been pretty easy for us because uh, our pitch to them is uh, boss we will give you trained skilled uh, developers and for free right we won't even charge you anything would you like to interview them uh, yeah. and most companies tend to agree that okay uh, i'd be happy to sort of have a look and if they are good i would love to hire them and uh, once the student gets hired, the company realizes that, okay, these guys are better than a traditional college uh, where I can do a campus drive and hire from. And uh, then we onboard that company permanently, right? That th- Now that company will not go away. Whenever they need freshers or uh, young talent, they will come to us for sure, right? right. So uh, fortunately, that part has been easy. And uh, this, like I said, the supply demand gap is big, right? So there are tons of companies who are struggling with good quality skill developers, uh, to be hired, right? In terms of the percentages, I'll give you this, right? So uh, how the entire course is structured is that we typically see students either uh, quickly completing the DSA track, right? That is, uh, once they start the program, they are learning DSA really well. So once they complete DSA track, uh, they start sitting for DSA-based placements. Uh, or else students who are maybe not doing really well with DSA, they move to the front-end track quickly. And once they complete the front-end track, they still start sitting for front-end placements at least, right? Because we know students are in a hurry to sit for placements. So that is why we make sure that as quickly as you can clear at least one track, right? At least get uh, prepared in one domain so that we can start pushing you for placements, right? So uh, uh, typically the student, as, as early as they clear any one of these tracks, uh, they start getting pushed for placements based on that track. Uh, and after that, they keep continuing the program and learn the uh, other aspects as well, right? Uh, talking about placement, so the batches which have completed till now, uh, uh, we've seen two things, right? So uh, we typically see that uh, around uh, 80% odd students will end up getting placed and completing the program with us, right? The remaining 20% will just uh, fizzle out. Some will not pick up, not talk to us, not call, not pick up our calls, etc. They don't really want to study further, or maybe they just found something to do for themselves, and now they don't really want to continue, right? Mm-hmm. But the remaining eighty percent will get placed for sure, right? Uh, and if you are completing, like like I say, right, uh, for till now, like we haven't really had to uh, give back the money to anyone, right? That is how yeah. the money back guarantee is in place, right? Because yeah. we are super confident that boss, if you are doing eight modules with us, simple. Do eight modules with us in a span of 12 months, we will get you placed, right? I, I'm, we are giving a money back guarantee for it. So if we cannot do that and you're completing eight modules with us for sure, you can, of course, you need to spend eight months with us for that. Uh, and that is how it is, boss. If you want to get into a great career opportunity, there has to be time and effort and upskilling required for it, right? So uh, just what uh, can't do too much in getting students placed in the first month or second month itself, but uh, but that is how that looks like. And we have actually seen people get placed. A lot of people actually get placed. Almost like thirty-five to forty percent of our students get placed before even completing the eight months, right? Because they completed one track, and based on that one track, they have started sitting for placements already in the fifth, sixth, seventh month. And uh, in one of those months, they end up clearing a company based on that track itself till the time they were actually learning the other track, right? So. Uh, so yeah, that has been the that has been the primary idea in terms of placements. And uh, if you ask me as a percentage, uh, around eighty percent students by the end of their entire agreement finishes. Eighty percent students from that batch will get placed for sure. Uh, and uh, there are certain percentage drop offs which we also see, and uh, we try our best to uh, not let students drop off or get 
like get away from us at all and keep doing the course as much as possible and complete the program with us uh, but then i think with any program you see there are certain drop offs which are unavoidable we try our best to bridge that as well uh, in terms of placements for our main batch students we have just uh, uh, making a a placement portal live internally right so if you join the acquire job batch or uh, if you sit in any of our pre course uh, sessions etc or the orientation session uh you will uh, you will be shown the placement portal real time also that how it works right so all our main batch students who are learning with us right now they have complete visibility uh on what all companies are coming in uh what all companies are sort of hiring which role are they hiring for are they eligible or not and eligibility at acquire job is very very merit driven right you do well in mock interviews your score in mock interviews is the primary parameter uh it's same for everyone right if you are scoring a 9 out of 10 in a data structures algorithms mock interview you have that skill you should be sitting for placements in dsa track but if you are scoring a 3 out of 10 in a mock interview that means you have a lot of feedback to work on right and we share the mentors feedback is shared uh, probably later on if we do another session i'll take you uh, take your viewers through the entire acquire job main batch platform and uh, uh i'm i'm pretty sure they would be uh, happy to see the how how each and everything is functioning there right so so entire placements at acquire job work on the basis of eligibility criteria as defined on mock interview scores there is no limit on number of mock interviews you can take so if you score a 3 on 10 in a mock interview work on the feedback maybe spend 7 days take another mock interview try and score a 8 this time it may be if you land with a 6 take one more try and score a 10 this time right so keep trying to improve your mock interview score keep working on your the feedback you get keep taking mentorship sessions if you want if and if you have a lot of doubts each and every possible element of help needed for the student has been incorporated and we genuinely encourage them you ask to acquire like if you can get uh, acquire job students on your channel and talk to them yes. uh, who are actually studying in main batch those they, those guys should give you a very good idea of how their experiences uh but there's no cap in terms of learning right when when people are giving uh, mock interviews mentorship sessions mock hr interviews communication <laughs> practice sessions etc everything is unlimited because our end goal students end goal it's the same thing right and if the student is willing to put in the effort i am more than happy right i just want student to put in the time and effort and that discipline uh, is the crucial element there correct so um yes i